What is up everyone? I'm Scratch. Welcome to the channel. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Guys, it finally happened. I summoned the most busted nuker in Raid Shadow Legends. And in today's video, we're gonna build that champion. And I'm gonna show you exactly what the champion can do. And I'm super pumped to say that he was my second most wanted mythical champion in the entire game. And yes, I am talking about Siegfried the Nephilim. What a freaking beast, guys. He used to be one of the worst when they introduced him because the multipliers were weak sauce. He's not able to metamorph on his own. And uh, they buffed him. Now, that buff literally made him the most busted nuker in the game. If you did not have a chance to watch my uh, previous videos on him where he just absolutely demolishes any dungeon, okay? This skill, Rage of the Nephilim. Attacks one enemy, ignores 50% of the target's defense. Will attack all remaining enemies with any surplus damage if the initial target is killed. And of course, fully heals the champion if the initial hit kills an enemy. Crazy damage, guys. Uh, all of the speed runs in Raid Shadow Legends in 2024, regardless if we're talking about the regular dungeons or the new wish dungeons, are made with Sigfrand, okay? Uh, the Sand Devil, the Phantom Shogun, they might be using Little Miss Annie instead, but they might have a backup uh, in there, and that is sick, friend, okay? The damage is just crazy, you know, and he's a very, very effective champion in PvP. So I'm going to show you how exactly I build my champion, and then we're going to take him in for a spin to try out a couple of different, uh, different things. With A1, attacks one enemy two times. The first hit transfers all debuffs from this champion to the target. The second hit then increases the duration of all debuffs on the target by one turn. This is a nice AoE as well. Each critical hit fills the champion's turn meter by 25%. Uh, it will reset the cooldown of the A3 if you kill an enemy, which is very nice. And resets the cooldown of all of these champion skills if this attack kills or two. Uh, if this attack kills two or more enemies. My bad. Attack aura for all battles. The passive that will put block damage on the champion, so it's pretty hard to kill. Narciss is basically his uh, main counter. Then uh, heals the champion by 50% of their max HP and fills their turn meter by 100. On a 3 turn cooldown, very nice passive. And the Metamorph, guys, uh, is only going to get into the Metamorph if he's the last champion left alive. And right here, he's a support champion, a very nasty support champion. Uh, full revive, 50% turn meter, 50% uh, HP, block damage for 2 turns, cleanse. Healing, block debuffs, you know, the A1 AoE attack, he's gonna get healing. The passive decreases the damage taken from skills by 20%, and then he can just metamorph back to his initial form. Super powerful champion, and as I mentioned, I am very, very pumped that I managed to summon this uh, champion. So this is my sick friend, the Nephilim. I do need a better ring, I do need a better amulet for him, and mine is kind of like more of a hybrid build for pvp with pve in mind as well okay uh total stats on him we have the following he's only at four star with the blessing of course no empowerment we have a 46k hp 8.3k attack uh once i'm gonna uh, send the banner i should have 120 more attack from there but i've just been constantly trying to do it and uh i just have bad rng 3000 defense 249 speed Full crit rate, 318 crit damage, no accuracy, no resistance, because you don't really need them on um, uh, on him. You could argue it and say that some resistance would be nice, so they cannot strip the block damage, but it's very hard to get a lot of resistance on him. Uh, in terms of a blessing, at the moment I went with Soul Rip, and that's mainly because uh, I am using him on my Shogun team. Uh, Masteries on the champion, guys, we have the following, offense and defense. Uh, Helm Smasher as tier 6, I do have Life Drinker. Um, over the Ruthless Ambush. Whenever you're going to take a turn, most likely uh, either he's going to counterattack before, either you're going to hit uh, a different uh, champion that might have a reaction or stuff. So Ruthless Ambush uh, lost quite a bit of value in the last few months. It's still a good one to pick uh, over the Life Drinker, to be honest, but I decided to go with Life Drinker. So we have defense right here going straight to Retribution. I do want to have Resurgent. I feel like this is going to be a very, very important blessing on the champion. Now, if you guys had a chance to watch my previous video where we talked about the Fey Fathers Challenge, okay, where you can actually earn the Odin Avatar, you saw that I went all the way up to stage 25 with Sigfrund as the only damage dealer 
one shotting the boss and the waves right now i've changed a lot of builds on the other champions no more protection on them etc so i cannot really run the exact same team but i can show you how i went all the way up to stage 15 only with Siegfried getting one second runs so hopefully i still have him right here on the preset let me just break this team because we don't need it but let me just show you exactly what he can do i'm actually going to target that uh apothecary in there because why not look at that beautiful one second now he can do these crazy things on waves guys he can absolutely demolish all of the waves on all of the dungeons if we're talking about doom tower and other stuff like that he's just going to absolutely demolish them but i want us to experience his full power on the waves guys which is just mind freaking blowing that's why he is the most powerful nuker in the entire game honestly there's nobody that can come close to uh his damage so i just want to show you uh how much damage we're gonna get on the waves uh, i will bring a couple of different champions to boost the passives if i would have a six star crushing rand on him guys he will absolutely demolish everyone because he's just such a such a broken blessing right but i don't have it so um it won't be as spectacular as i would like it to be but either way it's still gonna be solid you know so there you go we have all of the champions in line we're actually gonna smack this uh uh this lizard right here <laughs> 949k and we've got four plus million hit per champion guys i think that was four uh, plus million absolutely disgusting now i will waste a bit of energy here because we are on my account i want to show you that on one x speed so let's do that he can one shot some of the bosses like whoever has a six star crushing rand and uh multiple funerals you get a two second spider theme or crazy things like that you know the new dungeon the odin dungeon you guys probably saw all that right but check this one out again so we are on one x speed 672k and we got 2.4 million this time around because the damage was much lower than the initial hit that we had in the first round by 300 plus k so that makes quite a bit of a difference uh let's do another one let's do another one before we move over to uh some different fun things of course i do have some protection on uh, a couple of the champions that will help me a little bit in here to boost my damage unfortunately not on lydia not on Bel Kazar, but hey it is what it is let's go back at it again again helm smasher proc 639k again no helm smasher proc but we are getting millions of damage with Sigfrand on waves so seer yeah was definitely nice to know yeah he does require more setup uh and is slower so i'm not gonna say goodbye to seer that's for sure uh if we're gonna head over for example to a lower stage let's go on normal mode stage 23 where i'm usually testing champions right it's gonna be a completely different type of food because the champions here are much squishier than uh in general so we have a uh, faceless and lua we're definitely going to target one of those two. Uh, we're going to apply the debuffs. Defense down, weaken. Let's get Bad Elf's passive in uh, in play. And right here, we're going to go on Faceless. 1x speed. 921k, and we got 5.8. I think we, we saw uh, a 6 or a 7 million to the right side. I was just so focused on the left that I missed it. Let me know in the comments down below. But that was some freaking nasty damage. I do want to show you one more thing in dungeons, guys. And that's Spider Stage 25. I don't think I'll have enough damage to one-shot this boss. I'll be very honest. And that's mainly because I don't have the crushing rend. But we're still going to give it a go and see what sort of damage we're going to get on the actual freaking boss, right? Uh, we're going to uh, target the spider links. So let's buff up. We got to make all those passives work in here. Give me that increased attack. Give me more uh, more protection. Uh, protected buffs. And right now we are ready to rumble. Let's target a spider link. And we're going to hit this one right here. 837k. And we got a 2.7 million damage on the spider queen. And that's because it seems like Lydia got resisted on defense down. So let's uh, let's come back to it. Let's come back to it. Why you got resisted, Lydia? You only have like freaking 500 accuracy. Do you need more? Do you need more for stage 25 on the dungeons? I'm pretty convinced that we're going to be able to one-shot stage 20. Uh, we were able to do that with Septimus uh, years ago. And uh, most probably Sigfrant is just absolutely going to demolish that as well. But let's give it another go. What do we have? 
958k and we got a 6.6 .6 million damage we almost one freaking shot the boss super close super super close to take that boss down man that's crazy actually so freaking close it's absolutely unbelievable now with crushing grand they would stand absolutely no chance even on hard mode stage 10 if i could bring in a badel if i could bring in a uh, a feral and uh, a gurftuk literally they will stand no chance but leaving the dungeon nonsense on the side guys let's actually try him in arena he is one of the most powerful arena champions being used in arena defense for platinum reset extremely powerful for live arena extremely powerful for offense as well of course he's more limited to offense uh to be honest especially if you have a udk and stuff you definitely don't want to use him to attack uh uh, to attack them with udk but let's actually give it a go versus this team uh right here and see what we're getting uh out of them we do have some uh interesting uh champions in there that we should be able to just put to sleep in a second most probably they're faster too that's fine that's fine Ooh, he actually surprised me right there interesting that's fine so his passive did not proc just yet uh, unfortunately, we're not going to have the reset from that uh, Crixia, but that's fine. I'm still slowly going to try to basically uh, reset so I can use that skill. Or if I don't reset, do whatever, you know. Just because they're winning the speed lead doesn't really matter, you know, the, the speed fight. So right here, I can use the AoE. I really wanted to use the A3, but I can show you all of the skills because he's not just a one skill champion, right? Uh, this AoE is nice too. It's not the most insane, but it's definitely not bad, you know. So we managed to put those ones uh, to sleep. Okay, okay. And right now, check it out. No increased attack because you don't need it. And I know it looked like he was going to win this fight. 600k on that uh, Armands, if I'm not mistaken. I know it looked like he was going to win the fight. But fear not because Sigfriend is in my team. And he stands absolutely no chance. Let's move over to the next one, guys. Let's see what else we have on the menu. Uh, hopefully something with uh, Tarichkas, with Marichkas. So we have one, two options. This with Galatir might not necessarily be the uh, right team. I'm, I would probably not really attack that team uh, with Sigfrand, but that's fine. We can give it a go versus this one, versus this one. But I want to try this one. I would expect him to be faster, which again, shouldn't necessarily be a massive, uh, a massive issue. All the empowerment, the red stars, and... Just them screaming, I'm a Kraken, I'm a Kraken. You know, they're kind of like uh, making it crystal clear. Now, one thing that I should really do in here is basically polymorph that uh, uh, that Crixia because they were going to get me in trouble, if not. So, Marius, do your own shenanigans. The main issue that we have right here is that that uh, Marichka has stone skin, right? But that's fine. We're going we're gonna to deal with the rest. So, we're going to do this to Crixia. Boom! 330. Oh my god, Taras just got evaporated. Where is Taras? Where is Taras? He just got destroyed. So he can do crazy things like this, guys. That's why he is the most broken, busted nuker in the game. And in a good way, okay? Not in a bad way. I love it. And uh, yeah, he's very powerful. Very powerful. That's, that's mainly why he is so powerful, you know? So I'm actually going to take a chill right here, go with A1, and we're going to wait a little bit uh, to deal with, uh, with the other ones. We're going to do a reset right here, then slowly kill her, and uh, after kill the rest again. Because why not? We can do that, right? So Armands, we want you to be ready. Uh, Krixia will definitely not be ready, but Armands will, so we can go... Uh... You know what? I'm curious. Most probably if I'm using this skill right here... Uh... Th they will revive after I use it, right? Yeah, as expected. It's not going to take them down instantly, you know? I really thought that that would be the case. But I still wanted to try it just to show you. Prove it for the science, you know, for the love of science. Pretty damn nasty champion, man. And I'm so pumped that I got him. Probably you guys can tell it, uh, can say it, right? Because uh, uh, I'm definitely super pumped, as usual, you know? Scratch is pumped every single day. But that's what you can do with Sigfrund, guys. And I think we should do a couple of Live Arena matches. Let's get our first opponent in Live Arena, guys. We have uh, somebody from that man running. Uh, very curious to see what champions he picks. If he picks Sigfrund by any chance. 
Uh, I personally find it fairly hard to deal with Secret in some situations. Uh, if I'm not able to bring in Narciss, if I'm not able to bring in um, Gizmak, for example, because of Polymorph and other, uh, other stuff, uh, it's much harder to take him down. Now, you can counter him with Arbice, for example. She's a very good counter because of her second form, the Stone Skin, the Taunt. Gizmak is an amazing counter for, uh, uh, for Siegfried. You can, of course, counter him with UDK. Uh, you can counter him with a well-built Harima too. Uh, to basically, try and keep your, your team alive and mitigate some of that uh, ignore defense. But let's, uh, let's actually focus and see what the, champ uh, the enemy brings. So we got Siegfried in our team. We have, of course, Narciss. We have uh, Krixia. We have Armands. Uh, like this, we're forcing him to ban Armands. So he's going to leave Siegfried there. Curious what he's going to bring in here. Marius with 6-star blessing. He's a pretty nasty champion too. Told you guys from the day they announced him, he's going to be Mera for Arena. A lot of you guys laughed at me. But look at, look at Marius now. Then we have a, a Lazarius in there. Uh, that Arbice is nice too. Uh, curious why he's using a double, uh, double speed lead in there, you know? Uh, speed lead. Speed aura, basically. Uh, speed blessing, not speed aura. Why is he using uh, intimidating presence on uh, two different champions? So we, we got Sifi as a support. Arbice is going out of that team, guys, because she can actually counter our sequence. So we don't want that. And uh, let's see. Okay, he banned Sifi. Surprisingly, he thinks that we're not going to have uh, enough support. But he doesn't realize is that if we go in with Armands and Krixia, he's just not going to move. You know, he's going to take no turns whatsoever. Pretty odd ban right there, to be honest. That's fine. Come on. Big front. Bring your own. Bring your own. Okay, stone skin on pretty much everyone. I'm gonna try to don't kill them with uh with Narciss, right? Because Narciss, I think, is a bit faster, if I'm not mistaken. Polymorph that Ancora, yep. We don't want her to do nothing. Thankfully, she was fast enough, so uh I don't have to deal with it. And with Sigfran like that, because uh she's out of it. So right now we're gonna smack the lowest HP because we deal uh uh, basically more surplus damage after I think or maybe we're not even doing that but I like to target the lowest HP and that was a pretty nasty one shot right there guys uh, looking for the next the next fight in here hopefully we're going to be able to use him here as well I love how he just wipes everybody off though it's just such a such a freaking nasty skill I get so frustrated when it happens to me I don't know why but I freaking hate it Okay, so we have CHFKA. We're gonna pick Armands again, of course. No, no questions asked. Hopefully this time around he will ban Armands and not uh, whoever else we might bring in him. Okay, Taras and Sifi. So he might be going for a tankier team. But I think, I think I'm gonna take his Marichka. I just don't want to deal with uh, all of that ally attack, counter attack, join attack with him and uh, with him and Marichka, you know. So this is a, this is a good thing. Like this. Uh, we're set with our support. We're just going to have to bring the damage dealers. And we're going to let him make his first move and see what damage dealers he brings. So we have Lazarius. We have a Marius in there. Uh, both of them pretty pretty nasty. Now, Lazarius can swap forms and lock the skills on a Sigfrand, right? So I'm not going to be able to use the A3. So probably we're going to have to get rid of him, depending on what else he's bringing. Come on, let's see. So we go we go Narciss. We go... Uh, we go uh, uh, Sigfran, like this, is not going to have uh, the option to pick it. I think, yeah, we're going to have to ban Arvice again. Plus one, six-star Polymorph. Not even Jelly. Mm. Only a little bit, you know? Only a little bit. Hopefully we're faster, so we don't have to deal with uh, Krixia and Polymorph, all that, uh, all that stuff. Come on, game. Load. Load. I got, I can make a cup of coffee and come back by the time the fight loads. So yes, we're faster. We can lock them. Beautiful. Not such a high risk to get polymorphed. And even if there's, they're going to do some uh, crazy things, I feel like if he's not metamorphing, it's going to be a mistake. And he's not. Okay, so he did not metamorph. Free reign, boys and girls. Free reign because we're going to absolutely... Make him suffer. We're going to make him pay for this. Okay, Marius. Yeehaw! Come on. Come on. 
just an A1, just a touch to lower that uh, HP a bit more to make sure we're going to one-shot him. And now, bring it on, Siegfried. 261, and we just wrecked everybody else in the team. Like, he stood no freaking chance. But that was all for this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about Siegfried and Nephilim? Hopefully, more mythical champions will get a similar buff in the near future. Much love. Appreciate all of you guys watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.